it's time to get this probably 100 year old hay trolley up in our barn. I got two of the three main beams uh, set to go. Basically that involved cutting them to length. And then these beams are just slightly thicker uh, than the brackets, so I just had to take a little off each side uh, to have it set in the bracket. And then otherwise I was drilling holes for our eye bolts. And then uh, once we get the third beam up and all the hardware installed, uh, we'll see about trying to get them up in the air. You wouldn't think it with the weather outside, but hay season is close and we need to get our hay trolley up and part of that is getting these beams in the air. So we prepped them and now it's time to get them up. A good friend let us use his genie lift here to put the beams up and I'm hoping that makes it a lot easier and safer than what I might have tried otherwise. Beams are up, at least the three are. Very excited. So what's next is we have to do a short beam that extends out the front of the barn. So it's the three beams up on the inside, and now we got to focus on the outside. So we just have this really short little beam. It's only four and a half feet long, and it will project out in front of the barn. And we snazzed it up a little bit, making a nice detail here on the end. Let's build some trolley track. These will become the hangers for the uh, track. So there'll be two holes drilled into these, one on each end. One will hang from the shackle up on the beam and the other will be bolted to the track. drill enough holes yet? Uh, we got our first 10 foot section of track built. Uh, we just threw the trolley on here to make sure everything worked properly and it appears to. So we have 40 feet of track total to build so we're one quarter done so let's get back at it. Still making track. Got one more piece to make. This one will take us out the door. Woohoo! Okay. It's time to get this probably 100 year old hay trolley up in our barn.
So you can see it up there. I got my ladder set up. I'm at the uh, inboard end of the track. You can see my line pulley hanging there to the right of the ladder. And what I'm using for rope is 5 8 inch double braided nylon line. What they would have originally used is anywhere from possibly 5 8 inch. Uh, most likely, I'd say the most common is probably 3 quarter. The bigger trolleys might have even used 1 inch. Uh, 3 strand manila line, which is a natural fiber line. This rope here is a 3 strand, although it is synthetic. Um, but one of the issues you can have with three strand lines is because it's a twisted line it doesn't like to do reverse bends that you, such as you might encounter on a trolley which you'll see so i'm using a braided line in my modern setup because it resists rotation and using a synthetic line in today's world it is much much stronger than a natural fiber line such as manila So this is the center drop pulley here. When I get to the top, it can be locked into the trolley. You can see how those reverse bends are on there now. All right, we got our forks attached. Let's go ahead and uh, hoist them up and lock them in. Just going to sit there until we need it, which is actually just in a couple days. It is June 15th, but you wouldn't know it by the weather. We've had some cold temperatures and lots of rain. So this is what our alfalfa field looks like. But eventually the rain will stop and we will be able to cut hay. So we are finishing our preparations with everything to do with our hay trolley. Let's see what Stacy's working on today. All right, here we are in the rain working on hay equipment because we can't actually be haying right now. Um, but uh, for those of you who have followed us know that we put up loose hay. And for the most part, we have a grapple that we plan to unload the wagon with. But for the last little bit, the grapple just doesn't work well. So we decided to make a sling. Uh, we got the idea from visiting our friends over at Cozy Cow Farm. Uh, they use slings as well. So we looked at theirs. I bought a sling release off eBay, and then the rest I made up here on the farm. So I'm just getting the finishing touches, just finished my splices. And all that's really left is to cut the excess bolts off the uh, cross boards. So we'll be able to use this someday when the sun comes out again and we can actually hay. I don't know if that's going to happen in January. So the idea being this will lay flat on the wagon, we'll load hay on top of it. We'll unload most of the hay with the grapple, and then what's left is we'll take these rings on each end, and these will gather up the remaining hay. These will hook together, and then this will get lifted up. And then to release the load, there's that release in the middle with the tag line that will pull from below to release it, and then the hay will just fall out. some good weather and Stacy is working on raking the hay we cut the other day. The hay trolley works by using some pulleys and ropes. We have the main pulley up here at the top and then that comes down to a second pulley. And then this pulley goes out the barn through our mess. Eventually this will be all cleaned up and we'll have a better system for the pulling rope. But for this year's hay, it is gonna be A-OK. -okay. It's hot out, we're picking up hay, and we're gonna try our hay trolley for the first time. Already got a wagon loaded up, ready to go.
see, oh look, nice clear skies until, dun dun dun. So we're trying to get this in before the rain hits. Here I am with our hay. So this was our first big push to get some hay in our barn. Uh, we're very excited to be storing hay under cover. This is not all the hay we're going to put up. It's already starting to settle and pack down. We got to move some of this uh, top area off to the sides because the hay trolley only drops it in the center. But the hay trolley worked great. The grapple worked great. The hay slings worked great. I uh, couldn't be happier. The only uh, hiccup we had was our hay door broke. We saw the storm coming, we were putting up hay, we were trying to beat the storm. We got our last load in the barn, and it was actually while I was closing the doors that the wind caught it and whipped it around and it cracked the board. Uh, the door came down, uh, the other half came down in one piece, so we just need to fix it this week. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, not a big deal, just a little hiccup. I meant to add some more bracing to the door that I hadn't got around to yet, and now Mother Nature forced me to move that up on the, the priority list. Um, but yeah, very happy with uh, how everything went. We've already got excellent regrowth in our alfalfa field, and we'll be haying more. We have more grass hay to put up and more alfalfa to put up. So thanks for joining us on the Tomorosa as we put up our first hay in our new barn. If you haven't, please do subscribe. We have lots of other stuff we do around here too. Uh, check out our Facebook page and also check out our website. Otherwise, we will see you next time.